Warning, the game in this Let's Play is rated M for Mature. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody, welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. We're just gonna get right back into the game. Okay. Okay, yep, yeah, where we left off, uh, those bandits killed all the horses and this guy. How could anyone be so cruel? Let's talk to him up real quick. I don't remember if we gave him food. Good boy. That's my boy. You know what? One second, everybody. Actually, wait. Look what, what I've got for you. You'll love this. I might have to increase the audio on when they speak. Wow, like, I got nothing good. He gets dry meat anyway. Where to go? Where to go? The controls are like messing with me today. I'm gonna need to buy a new controller. That's wonderful. Okay, one second, everybody. Okay, we're gonna try these settings. Uh, these yeah, these audio settings. Sometimes uh, the sound like fluctuates. It goes up and down, up and down, up and down. I'm over encumbered though, and I do remember last time. Wanting to... Is this... Where's my horse? You're not my horse. None of you guys are pebbles. Did I leave pebbles in there? I do remember wanting to go sell sell the meat and all that other stuff from before. Pebbles! Especially since I was over encumbered. So... I still want to do that. I, I'm going to try to go back I don't know if it'll, they'll get mad at me for leaving I guess we'll try it right yeah. it's been ages since I've actually played this I took such a break from this yeah. my insides are shriveled up with the hunger yeah Henry you're always hungry you're always hungry wrong one I always do that are we going the right way? I already forgot the control. It's been a while. Okay, yes, we are going in the right. We're going in the right direction. I just want to sell this stuff, and I don't think there was anybody back there I could sell to. I don't. I really don't think so. I. I genuinely don't think so. But I think this inn. I might be able to sell stuff at the inn. I've reached a new level in horsemanship. That's awesome. Actually, you guys don't see that. Maybe one, one, one second. Yeah. I'm gonna see if me being down here is much better visually for you guys. Yeah. I do know we pass an inn. I should be able to sell them some stuff, so I'm not so over encumbered because. Yeah. You know, something's gonna, I know something's gonna happen, that's just, I'm gonna be much happier if I'm not over encumbered. Yeah. I can never remember which way to go. Yeah, I think that's the end right up there. Okay, 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 okay. Are you the guy I talk to? Every inn has an innkeeper. Obviously, I guess. And pretty much the same type of dialogue every time. Good day to you. What do you need? Like, like watch, nothing. He's gonna say nothing. Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Could be. You're the blacksmith's son from Scarlet's, ain't you? Whoa! The bailiff here could probably use you. He's got some jobs for the Scarlet's refugees, but he's not sure who's good for what. He was moaning about it here yesterday. Oh, and another thing. Bertold, our local gamekeeper, was looking for help with something a while back. Why don't you ask him if he still needs help? That's the first time I've talked to anybody that I asked if anybody needed help. That's the first time ever 
Anybody's ever given me an answer. Other than no, we don't need help. I'm, I'm speechless. Anyway, the real thing I wanted to do was talk about trade. gonna try to sell you shit. Oh wow, the, uh, on this one, and the, yeah, on this one, it, it's like zero good. And as you can see, it looks like, yeah, now my, the, the weight that I can handle. There, like, there's like no good spot for me on this. I'm not gonna be spending the entire playthrough moving my, my face around. We'll try that. For right now, I don't know. So now we're gonna check the basket. Oh, uh, one of them completely went away because I guess it was worthless. Okay, we'll haggle. I doubt we're gonna get much because it's. I'd like to crap. discuss the price. Now my face Why is not? bad there. Oh my god, now my face is bad there. <laughs> Maybe up here. Maybe I'll try up here. Then give me a second. I'm gonna switch myself around. There we go. We'll try this. I doubt very much I'm gonna get a lot for this. We'll see what he says. Satisfied? A nice sum. Just lower your demands a little and we'll agree. Okay. Okay, I can meet him there. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. That's kind of what I was hoping to get. Everything you hope to get always go a little higher. You never know. So for right now, I'll keep my face there. So I sold some stuff. I'm not over encumbered anymore. Let's go back to Pebbles and let's go back to Neuhoff. Yeah. Dude, I should have gotten something to eat while I was there. I'm so stupid. Okay, now we're back here. So now, like... Let me get off. Okay, Pebbles. Hang out with your friends. Okay. Okay, you're a guard. So this is where we left. This is really where we were. So, the things we can do. Optional is scout the area. We are gonna do that. Optional question the survivors. We are gonna do that. And, like, the main thing is to find out where the raiders went. Which is, you know, when you, you find out while you question the survivors, so it sort of just happens at the same time. So we're just gonna start talking to a lot of people. It's gonna get very dialogue-heavy. I might edit out a lot of fluff. We'll talk to her. Ask. I... I can come back later if you... No. I saw you came with the soldiers, and the sooner you know everything, the sooner you'll catch those savages. I'm sorry to trouble you, ma'am, but could you tell me about the raid? The noise woke us up. Me and Smil. We thought the horses were restless, or maybe some drunk had staggered here from the inn. Go on. My husband went out. To see what was going on. Then I just heard loud voices. And screaming. It's so stupid. It didn't even occur to me at first that something could have happened to Smil. I didn't find out until the morning. So much quieter when the music stops. Who should I question about the raid? Did anyone here see anything? From what I've heard, Mark was the first one to wake. It might be a good idea to talk to him. Ginger was sleeping in the stable. He might have seen something. Jacob, the old stable boy. He even fought with them. I don't know of anyone else. Did you recognize any of the voices you heard? No, but they spoke Czech, cursing like demons, even at each other. At each other? They quarreled? Yes. Something must have happened. And where did you hear this noise? Everywhere. It was chaos. I don't even know how many of them there were. I mean at the very start. Do you remember where you heard the noise come from then? I don't know. I just don't know. Did you get a look at them? There's one man, 
huge, and dressed all in black. Did you see him? No, I didn't. Take care. Okay, so I questioned her. Yeah, see, I'm not even... What the hell? I'm not even moving the controller as it just moved like that, and I don't know why it got blurry. Oh, I'm hungry. I, I need to eat something quick. Okay, so I can pretty much talk to a lot of people here. I'll edit out everybody that um doesn't have anything to offer. This guy might, though. Oh, that's one of the guys, so... Might be important. Another useless soldier coming to ask questions. You should have fucking been here last night. I'm not a soldier. I'm one of the survivors from Skalitz. Huh. I see, lad. Well then, what do you need to know? What in the world happened here? The bastards attacked us. At night, a little before dawn. And how did you come by that wound? I heard someone talking, so I went to look outside. Then I saw what they'd done to the horses. I shouted at those bastards. Caught one by the cloak and started beating him. Without a weapon? With just your fists? Yeah. But he cut me pretty good, the fucker. Lucky for me the others started to come out then, so the raiders ran. All that's left is his cloak. And you've got no idea why they did it? Something must have gone wrong for them. They ran off without taking anything. There's one man in particular. Huge. Dressed all in black. Voice loud enough to crack stone. Did you see him? Who the fuck do you think half killed me? So he really was here. The bastard. In case you guys aren't catching on, that's the same guy that attacked him and stole Sir Rad's exhort, uh... Sword. So, I'm, I'm sure you guys figured that out, but just for those who may be a little confused, that's who it is. If you notice a difference in sound, by the way, I turn my mic, I've been turning my mic off when they speak, because I'm still having some static issues with this mic until I can get a better setup. I should be doing this as I talk. <laughs> can you help me? How? You know the area. How can I figure out which way they went? Hmm. They left in a hurry. You could see if there's a fence knocked down, or a gate. That's some good information. So yeah, I keep turning the mic off so you guys don't hear the static as much whenever uh, possible. It's not going to be perfect, and until I get the audio figured out, it's not going to be perfect for a while. That's just the way God be with you. it is. But wait a minute, I think I should still be able to help you with your arm. I only had one chance at that? That sucks. I would have helped him. Take care now. Boy, oh boy, I'm just full of mistakes when I play this walkthrough. I thought I could also do that. Okay, well, that was Jacob. Or was it Jacob or Jakob? I don't remember how they pronounced it. Well, I spoke to him. You're with me. You're a guard. Um, can I talk to you? There were three people I was able to speak to. Can I go in here? I could rob him. I'm not going to right this second. I think I'm gonna eat them. Maybe now he'll shut up about being hungry. You wanna know what sucks? I'm actually hungry. Like me, I'm actually hungry. Can I go out here? Like, is this... I I'm trying to remember where that one guy is. He's out in the field somewhere. I'm taking pebbles with me, if I can find where I put where pebbles went. I brought pebbles out here. Where is she? She or he? And you know what the thing is? I remember one of the other episodes. I couldn't remember what whether pebbles was a he or a she. And then during the, um... Editing... I realized that they actually already said, um, the gender of pebbles, and I, I can't remember what it was. I think it ended up actually being a boy, because I think I assumed it was a girl, and then at one point they said he. But I'm taking pebbles with me because it's just faster to go around. 
I do know, like, somewhere a little further down. Okay, it is down here. Where we, we talked to somebody else, and I think their information is a little more telling. I'm not gonna inspect every single... Let me, let me go back. Let me, let me see something. I don't know if we can rob them. Or, like, you know, like... Oh, that's not a, that's not a person. That's... Okay. Okay. Need to get my eyes checked. I think while everybody is out here like this, I think all I can do is inspect. I don't think I can rob them. Like, or Fuck. Why? I feel so bad for these people. They lost their loved ones. Their ho like, that, that's so sad. And he's just walking. This dude just walking by. Completely unfazed, I guess. Unless he was one of the ones. Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, no. oh no, there he is. Okay, now he's showing emotion. Never mind, then I take it back. Such senseless brutality. They slaughtered horses as well as people, and yet it seems they didn't take anything. Yeah, see, whenever he talks like that, Henry, he's so, so low. You can't hear him no matter how much I mess with the settings of the audio. It just doesn't work. Where is that guy? Is he standing up? Oh, there he is. He's over there. He's all, he's all the way over there. there we go. What did my computer just do? Alright, so there's no one else down here to talk to other than this guy right here. So let's just do this. Ginger. What? Who's there? Easy. I just came to ask... I don't know anything! Are you hurt? No, no, nothing. Not a scratch. What really happened here? I don't know. Someone attacked. Uh, I, I don't know who. You didn't happen to hear where they came from? No! I didn't see a thing. That can't be it. No, he had more to say. No, 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 I guess. Oh, I think... I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. I fed you already. I think maybe someone else says something else about this guy. And then he, um... Oh, I think maybe, never mind. Maybe I should stop talking and stop spoiling stuff. That's the one drawback to me playing games that I already have information about I have no problem just saying stuff I probably shouldn't I'm walking around without pebbles like an idiot I'm yelling into the microphone I'm sorry <clears throat> oh, no this can't be true so heartbreaking to hear them let's go let's go pebbles yeah Sometimes I go so fast, I, I can't tell if I've seen a person in the corner of my eye. That's a dog. There's a person down there. Again, yelled into the microphone. I'm so sorry. I think I need to talk louder. Anyway, I noticed in a lot of when I did a lot of editing that um I can't talk to her anyway. That I mumble a lot or I talk too softly. So one of the things I think that will help is me talking louder, actually. So I gotta just find that fine line between talking loud enough or, or, or <laughs> and, you know, screaming. Excuse me. There. Now will you shut up? I see you're tired. You gonna start complaining about that too? Okay, that's just really quick. Are we in the right vicinity? We are, so we're still in the right vicinity to do the two tasks. That is so cool, actually. Wait, the smoke is getting in the way of... So it looks, it looks darker. Smoke's getting in the way of the sun. Yeah. I just ran them over. Oh no, what am I doing? Oh no, sorry Pebbles. But maybe this works. 
There we go. Actually, the screen is getting darker. I don't remember. Am I supposed to talk to Bart, uh, Captain Bernard? There were bandits here. Two of them. Right there to the north in the woods. What? You saw them? They attacked me and I... They're dead. You killed them? One of them. The other was already dying. Did he have anything on him? I didn't check. Maybe you should have. I'll take the men and scout the woods. I'll be with you. Shit, that wasn't supposed to happen. Wait. That I didn't do that to this playthrough, right? That happens. Wait, what? Dude, so, this oh my god, this is the weirdest fucking playthrough ever. Yeah, you do run into them in the woods, but I didn't yet. You mean, it just, oh my, we're starting this, I gotta start this over now, son of a bitch. And I'm gonna have to start this stuff over again, wow, she just dropped like that. I'm gonna do this all over again, I um, swear I won't let them destroy it, Smeal. And, um, I'll edit this out and then we'll pick up where we left off. I, I know I said I was gonna edit everything out that I already did, but now that I'm here I might as well try to help this guy with his arm and see what happens. Another useless soldier coming to ask questions. You should've... What's wrong with your arm? Oh, oh dear. That looks painful. That's all you gotta say about it. You useless prick. <laughs> Alright, that was a fail. Never mind, guys. I'm so Never mind. I'll just keep going forward. I just realized I gotta go back to the fucking trader and sell that shit because I'm freaking over encumbered. So I gotta do all that again, and that's annoying. Okay, so I'm not sure why, but I'm, get, I'm offered more money this time. I don't think he's gonna offer me all that much. Since it's you, we're getting there. Just drop the price a bit more. I mean, I offer the same amount of items. It's just all the hair. But whatever, I'll take it. That's a sum I can live with. Alright, so actually I'm, I'm better off this time around. I guess it's good that that whole weird thing happened that made me start all over again. I ended up with more money. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back. Uh, to uh, take two. We did everything so far. I went back to the trader. Depending on how I edit, I'm not sure how much I need to explain. Um, I'll know more in the editing section of this, but just in case. Okay, so... I went back to the trader, I traded all the hair so I'm not over encumbered. I'm um I talked to everybody I needed to talk to to wrap everything up. Spoiler alert, unfortunately, there was a spoiler. But here you go. Here's the broken fence, by the way. They mentioned a broken fence. This is it. Maybe I should get off of pebbles right now. Um, unfortunately there was a spoiler. I didn't spoil it. Captain Bernard spoiled it. I did not expect that whole thing to be said. Aha. This wasn't done by animals. They must have gone into the woods this way. Okay. Yeah, so unfortunately Captain Bernard spoiled it and I could edit that out. But apparently this like I said before is the most bizarre walkthrough ever. So keeping it in just, you know, proves that even more. So sorry for the spoiler. Beehive. I don't know what the point is. Oh, oh, I can open it. Dude! So, yeah, you go in this way, you follow this path. And if you do it at nighttime, which is my go to trick, um, it just makes this defeating these guys easier. But at the same time, you're going to be missing out, so I have to go the normal way to show you. And if I have to die and do this whole thing a third time, so be it. Wait. Shit. 
Oh, no, they're up that way. So that whole thing I just said was a waste of fucking time. Right, let me call up Pebbles back. There's Mutt. Isn't that how I call Pebbles, though? There's Pebbles. <laughs> Hi, Pebbles. Yep, just special Pebbles. Aren't I supposed to, like, inspect some blood? Oh, there we go. He went deeper and deeper, for sure. Okay, there we go. So that triggers this new objective. Cool, game saved, thank god. That's what I was afraid of. Now now if I die, I come back here. And that's that's why I was doing all that nonsense before about trying to be tricky. Because I forgot, because I don't remember everything. I actually thought they were still down this way. I forgot there was a whole other thing that I had to do up this way. So now... You'll see, uh, so that, um, progresses, option A, um, task A. And then this is, I haven't questioned all of the survivors. I could have sworn I questioned them all, though. Okay, so, so B is optional, and that is, question the survivors. I thought I questioned everybody. I should talk to Zora, which I did. Jacob, yield stable boy, I talked to him. Jacob or Jakob, I apologize for the mispronunciation. Whichever way it is, I'm gonna say Jacob. Um, and Ginger. Oh, Mark. I gotta go talk to Mark. I'm gonna go do that first. <coughs> Were you Mark? Okay, let's talk. Here we go. <coughs> Ooh, sorry, guys. Are you... Are you well? Leave me alone. Go away. Okay, so we can either be compassionate or we can be vengeful. We don't know anything about this guy. I don't know what's going to help him. I'm going to go with, um... I mean, he's crying. I'm going to go with compassionate. Look, I know that it's difficult. But when I say talk, I don't expect to be ignored. No more. No more. What the fuck? Leave me alone, all of you. What the fuck? That's not what I expected. Wait a minute. Why did I be an asshole? Are you fucking kidding me? And I can't. Thank God, you know what? I'm happy I missed him. I'm happy I missed him before because I went that other way, and the game saved. So I'm. I'm fu what the fuck? I don't remember. I must not have chosen that before because that I don't remember him talking that way to him. Okay, everybody, we're back to that now. Okay, let's get on pebbles again. Yeah, I, I had to redo that. My lord, I don't ever remember Henry re- Uh, I must not have chosen that. Because I don't remember Henry being so rude. That's so fucking rude, someone's crying. I know it's difficult, but I don't expect to be ignored. No, you don't- I, I picked that because I thought that was the nicest, most compassionate way of talking to a crying man. I'm glad I did this after I the game saved the first time I can redo this, because that, that upsets me. I don't want to- I don't want to have that- ah. I just don't remember him behaving that way before. Am I talking too loud into the mic now? Are you... Are you well? Leave me alone! Go away! But there's no need to be afraid. With your help, I'll find those bastards and then I'll make them pay. They... They deserve it. There we go. What, what do you need to know? What actually happened here? They... They killed the animals and... <laughs> why did they kill them? Did they take anything? No. Think carefully now. How did it all start? We... We heard the animals. Their shrieks. Then smell. He shouted. And they murdered him. You're certain it was the animals first, and then smell, not the other way round? I'm certain. I'd never heard a sound like that before. <laughs> now I'll never forget it. What happened after that? We ran outside, and it was chaos. Animals were dying, the stables were burning, and those demons everywhere. You said they were demons? No, just vermin. Worthless human vermin. The stables were already burning. Didn't that happen after they fled? No. It was to set the blaze when they arrived. 
How many of them were there? Not many. There were just a few that came after us, but more round the back. I heard them yelling at each other. In the back? Where? Towards the woods. To the north. They were trying to get away. So they were yelling because of all the noise? No. Something happened. They quarrelled. So some of them were running away and the others were fighting? Aye. For a time. Then more of us came out and we fought back, so the others fled as well. Where? Where did they run to? To the north. Into the woods. Thanks. That's all I needed to ask. See, let's go. We talked to him. We got more information out of him. And that actually... See, I did everything out of order. Should have talked to him, then found that broken fence. <laughs> and then went forward with, um... Running into the bandits that Captain Bernard mentioned. That during the conversation... It was actually not Captain Bernard... Okay, so now we did everything. Now we talked to everybody we had to talk to. Okay, I'm on I'm on the pebbles, okay. Yeah, sorry about all that technical difficulties. Um, the capture card ran out of its, uh, thing, whatever. I don't, I'm not familiar with it, but anyway, I had to restart it because of the capture card. And as you can see, it's getting a little darker out, which is good. So here is... Why did I lose reputation? Why did I lose reputation? I'm so fucking confused. Should I follow them myself or report, report to Bernard? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, so it really, it really wasn't even Captain Bernard, Bernard who um spoiled it for you guys. It was actually Henry... Talking to Captain Bernard about something that didn't happen yet. Wait, is this where the... Okay, here we go. Here's where it needs to happen. Sorry, Pebbles, it's just easier if I just go up this way myself. Me and Mutt. Now, here is where I think it is. I think it's up here that I kind of come around this way and with it getting darker that's much better it's always better at night because they can't see you if you don't have your torch out which obviously that's point part of it going at night without your torch they don't see you but you see them because they have their torches that's one of the oh you heard the noise you hear the music i don't know if you hear the music so we're in the um area right now to find them and again you're gonna hear them talking i don't know if you're gonna hear them that well with the audio i'm so scared though i am i'm so scared because i haven't been doing as good as i've as i was doing in other play in other playthroughs of this so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna die i'm gonna have to redo all that again and i don't want to use the schnapps yet i want to save those for like important things oh shit oh shit oh shit is that one of our guys? That looks like one of our guys, actually. I'm just gonna go for it. I don't care. Oh, he's one of our- One of our guys is out here? I've never run into one of our guys before. Out here. I'm telling you, like, it's because I'm recording all these wacky- Key things are happening. Are you another? You're Captain Bernard! And you're out here. Okay, I don't, I don't know what they're doing out here. No clue what the fuck they're doing out here. Because I didn't talk to them yet about it. Alright, so yeah, so this is where we entered in from. Boy, editing is going to be so much fun. So much wasteless, pointless footage that I, I'm going to have to crop out. I can't see anything because that's, the screen's dark. But my lighting for, my, for me... Uh... Is blinding me. I did adjust the brightness on this, and I don't know if that helped me or not. I just realized the compass on top also has the B 
And that's probably the direction I'm supposed to be going in. Are you one of us? Oh, I'm pushing the wrong button. I pushed... I always push the wrong button. No, you idiot, Henry. Put it away. I mean, don't put it away. Take it back out. Take it back out. What's the matter? Come on. Where is he? God, I blow. I suck. I, I push the wrong button every fucking time. Again, I never know whether I have my weapon out or whether or what. So, like, I go to push the button to, to um brandish my weapon, and then it's already out. And then I end up putting it back in. So, I'm stupid. Does this mean, do I still have to talk to Mark? Yeah, I have to go talk to Mark. Okay, so, yeah, we talked to Mark. Is that one of ours? Who's there? I think that's not one of ours. I think that's somebody else's. I mean, I think that's one of the bandits. I can't tell if it's a guard or the bandits. What are you doing here? Tired of life, are you? He sees me. It's supposed to be people having conversations. I'ma loot it, I don't care. And I'ma take all, because I don't care. Why, it's a hoof pick. Someone in Neuhoff must know more about it. And I'm gonna do this too. Yeah, and I know I'm way over encumbered now. I do not give a shit. I lost reputation, and I don't know why. I don't know why I lost reputation. I'm too overloaded. Oh, yeah, if you have way too much stuff, you can't even get on your horse. But. I think, isn't there, like, oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, everybody. I have an answer. You see... On the bottom, I'm probably going to put a little arrow in my editing. You see on the very, very bottom, square to move to horse, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, so I ended up putting everything, actually, that I got into the, um, into the horse. And at a later date, I'll sell it. Um, but one thing I want to show you guys. We do have this bloody hoof pick that is now a, uh, a quest item. So now we have to find the owner of the hoof pick. That is the new objective. So I actually didn't have to kill anybody this time. So it's a little anticlimactic, but it is what it is. Like that was the whole point was to just get the hoof pick. But you, they do have a conversation. There are the two bandits that have a conversation that we missed out on. Um, basically, they fought, and I, I, if I remember correctly, they fought. Within each other, like the bandits fought, uh, argued with each other. And I think they even killed one of their own. I know there were two bodies though, so maybe it was, um... I think they only killed one of their own. The other body, I mean, this whole thing is really interesting to me. And I did see some guards out there, so maybe the guards went there and killed them. And I don't know why the guards would have went there. Oh, you know what? Let's go ask Mark about the poop pick real quick. Wee. Let's see if we can ask Mark about it. <laughs> Do you know whose hoof pick this is? Ginger's. He was always bragging about it. Why do you ask? Yeah, we might get more information out of this I guy. I found it on one of the bandits in the woods. But he... Because of him? Because of him they murdered us? Lord in heaven! Wait, hold on. You think Ginger was responsible for the attack? He ran off! Don't you see? He was acting so strange and then he ran off! Why the hell would he do that? That does sound rather odd. Yeah. And you don't know where Ginger could have gone? Dunno. Ask Jakob. Jakob is what it is. So we'll go do that. We'll, Lord, we'll go. So yeah, if you notice there now, see, Mr. Ginger is no longer there. And apparently, like, this guy said he ran off, and I guess everybody knows that now. 
Like he just walked right into the wall. Okay, walked right into another wall. Okay, I think you're Jakob. Jakob. Do you know anything about this hoof pick? Yeah, it's Ginger's. He had it made in Mate. Any idea where I might find this, Ginger? Well, that's the thing. He packed up and left. What? Look, I, I know how he looks. But Ginger is a fine fellow. I, I don't believe he had anything to do with the attack. Where could he have fled to? I, I might know. But you got to promise me one thing. When you find him... Listen to what he has to say before judging. You have my word. Sometimes the charcoal burners come to see him. You get some well with them. I think that's where he's gone. And where is that? No idea. They've always kept to themselves, you know, charcoal burners. But the forest is full of folk like that. They could be anywhere. Aye, except these ones won't be far. If you follow the stream from the stud farm towards Ratte, you'll come across one of their camps. Only... Only what? Ginger didn't go that way, though. He always went by the big road, through the woods in the direction of Ujits. But how can I find them? There's always smoke when they work. <laughs> you'll smell them before you see them. And they need to be near water. There's that too. So if I go through the woods along running water, I'll find them? Exactly. Farewell. So now, Ginger and a Pickle, that is our new quest. Alright, so basically, yeah, what we need to do now is find charcoal burners. Find Ginger through finding charcoal burners to ask them where he is. And that is such a pain in the ass task. Their horses are here, but I don't know where they are. Unless they're still out in those woods. Activity giver. I want to do that. I want to get an activity. But yeah, that charcoal burner thing, I'm going to do in then another episode. We'll just, like, do other stuff now. Like, side stuff, maybe even more of that executioner task. The charcoal burner's should be dedicated all um sh uh, blah, blah, blah. should be an episode dedicated all to itself i'm not talking right because i got stuck so now i'm too busy thinking about okay yeah i think i need to dedicate one episode entirely to the whole charcoal burner quest screw it i'm gonna get out of here There you guys are, there you guys are, hello. Where's the captain? You, I think you're him. Jesus Christ be praised. I think Ginger is mixed up in it somehow. Hmm. Why do you say that? Because he's mixed up in it somehow. <laughs> the hoof pick I found on the dead bandit in the woods is his. That is fucking suspicious. Yeah. He acted suspiciously when I questioned him. What do you mean? Well, he was squirming and didn't really say anything. He might just have been in shock. He disappeared right after we found those bandits in the woods. And I think I know where he went. Where? To the charcoal burners. He has friends there. We've got to find him. But if his friends really are hiding him, I doubt they'll talk to my men. You should search for it, Henry. Go. Before the trail turns cold, I'll send a report to Ratai. Very well, sir. Any chance of some work here, Captain? It all depends on what you're ready to do, my lad. As I'm sure you've noticed, the roads around here are swarming with brigands. Sir Hanush has declared quite a reward for dealing with them. So what do you think I should do about them? We know about one of their encampments to the east of Ratai in an abandoned mine. I don't really mind how you deal with them. 
Anyway, the leaders generally wear spurs, maybe like they're pretending they're nobility. Who cares? In any case, bring me the spurs, and I'll take it as proof that the deed's done. Very well. I'll see to it. Wait. In addition, Sir Hanush has offered a reward for every bandit who's killed. So take a good sharp dagger. You'll get a bit extra for each ear you bring. I don't know what I should say. I think Henry would be a little, uh, innocent in all this, like an innocent mind. So he probably would think it's barbaric. Isn't that a bit barbaric? Barbaric ways for barbaric times, my boy. That does make sense, I that must admit. That should be a t-shirt. The Lord watch over you. But it's getting dark, which means... We must take out the torch. <laughs> I'm not getting in trouble again, like I did last time. So everything's good here? Okay, so now we can go back. Yeah. We go back home. We're going to Rate. Okay, so here, we're gonna fast travel right here. Um. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. We're gonna go back down to the miller. What is this? Kill the camp leader. Ooh, we'll do that later. Okay, so we're gonna fast travel. You see the little dots? No big deal with the little dots, but these bigger dots, like, yeah, okay, uh... That big dot, right, he just went over right there. At each big dot, there's a possibility for, like, an event to pop up. The further away you go, and you're fast traveling, the more likely that is to happen. And sometimes it'll happen right there, right at the last circle, like that, right? Right there, right at your destination, like right before it. An event will come up. That happened to me one time, an event came up. And, uh, died, of course, I died. I had to do that old thing again, it was so annoying. Just because I didn't expect it was the first time that anything like that ever happened. It was dark, it was like, weird. But I am good at this game, like, well, that's not true. But I'm not that bad at this game. I'm not I'm not that bad. I mean right now I look terrible. That's so nice. There we go. Let's go back. Move to horse? No, I wanna take from horse. Okay, so you go under psychics. Psychics. <laughs> you go under sidekicks. That's your horse. This is all the stuff that she has with her right now. So I can move it all to inventory. I'm gonna sleep, I'm gonna save, I'm gonna talk to the miller in the morning. And I'm gonna sell sell this stuff, and I'm gonna sell whatever I can to the trader. That's, you know, down the way. But there's one thing I wanna do. I do wanna always keep one torch on the horse. And a, I would like to do that with a couple spare weapons to- Oh shit, I'm under armor. As we continue on and get more weapons, I'd like to keep a few spare weapons in there too, in case anything happens to my stuff. Or no matter what, at least the horse has it. And I only took all of this stuff out of the horse now. Just because I know I'm going to be stupid and forget it. Okay, so we're looking at midnight already, jeez. The fuck was that? 12 hours, so he'll wake up tomorrow at noon? I don't like that. That noise is coming from my dog. One second, everybody. It was dinner time for the animals. So, I 
I'm still over encumbered, and here we go. Oh, I can't do it with him yet. Son of a bitch, I forgot I can't do it with him yet. I can't trade with him just yet because, um, I have to complete that whole thing with the executioner having the ring. So let's go to this lady over here and see what type of trade I can get out of her. God be with you. What can I do for you? Trade. Goodbye. Okay, so far I'm just selling the Let's armor. Let's have a word about the price. So just the armor right Aye. now. I. Okay, we're at 150. Let's see what we can get. We'll go up to 170. Let's see what she says. Is this enough? We're getting there. Just drop the price a bit more. Okay, yeah. Okay. I'll take what I can get. So for 155 for all those uh for all the armor that I picked up, it's not bad. It gets better. I knew we come to an arrangement. The better all my skills go up, the more money I would get. So some stuff is worth holding on to for a little while longer to get more money, but sometimes in the beginning it's better to just get as much money as you can. So that you can actually buy good stuff. I'm still overloaded. Son of a bitch. Go back home. Okay, now we're gonna try to sell some other stuff. Agree? Less. Okay, fine. I'll give you whatever. I'll go for that. Yeah, I'm still way over encumbered. Okay. okay, I sold what I was willing to sell. And now what I'm gonna do is put the rest of this in the chest. Okay, I'm good now. I'm no longer over encumbered. And as a matter of fact, I noticed the spade that I have, it's good to have with me at all times, but I can keep it in my horse. There we go. So as you can see, my weight is down now considerably. So now I'm good to go. Where are we going? Who knows? Yeah. Let's go to Rate. Uh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> you can get knocked right off your horse. I forgot. Let's go. I'll feed mutt soon. Let's see how much money you're gonna cost me. I talk to you. Oh, I don't think this is the right guy. My bad. God be with you. Never mind. He repairs, but he doesn't repair boots or shoes. He repairs other Take stuff. Care. It's the other guy. It's the cobbler. I think his name is, or the his title, cobbler. Matter of fact, once I get the money, I want to buy it like the kit, kit myself. Kit, kit. I'm gonna buy the kit myself. So it's not something I always have to come back to this dude for. Because as you go in the game, as you walk and walk and run around, your shoes wear out. Where is the cup? I don't remember. Oh! Learn how to ride a horse, idiot! Learn how to not walk right into a horse. Idiot person who was completely in the right. My dog wants to come in my room again. One second, everybody. So there's the 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 dude, the cobbler. God be with you. So it's gonna cost me twenty-seven dollars and or twenty-seven, almost twenty-eight groschen. Can we do something about the price? Sure. Why not?
Is this enough? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Okay. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. So as you all see now, I have nice shoes again. I would like to buy the the kit though. Good afternoon. The repair kit or whatever it's called. Good luck then. Mm-hmm. Cobbler's kit. So it's cobbler's kit. Large shoe repair kit containing a cobbler's hammer, pliers, wire, nails, and leather shears. That's 134 groschen. I'll come back though. Now I know how much money it is. I don't want to get it just yet. I want to get it when I have um, a little bit more money. But in the meantime, my shoes are good. And now I have a horse, so I won't be walking as much. So we're good with that. Okay, well that sucked. Okay, come on, pebbles. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm butchering this whole thing. <laughs> oh, I gotta go. Uh, level went up. Come on, pebbles. Come on, please. Yeah. Okay, come on. Almost. 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 Just get up the hill, I'll see how far away we are from the executioner. This is so cool. There we go. So I decided to just come back to the Executioner, and I've decided just to pay the guy. I want to move on with this. Who are you? Rude. This is a bit awkward, but recently you buried a convict. We did this the... conversation already. This convict, um... I mean, we already did the conversation. We'll just do it the same way. He was a friend before. of mine. He uh, he had a ring on his finger that I gave him for luck. And I figured, since he doesn't need it anymore... And you think I rob corpses, so I must have it? You're so rude today. Don't lose your temper. I meant no offence. I can pay you for it. First it was 20, now it's 40. What's going on with this game? Get out of here. No, we're done. We're done. Forget we're done. it. We'll do this one more time. This is such a bad conversation with this guy. What can he train me in? Hmm, I could use that. Can you help me with training my dog? Certainly. I don't know what level I'm at. Let me check. Well, I'll think it over. This is a bit awkward, but... Recently, you buried a convict, and, um, this convict, um... Let me try this one. ...had a ring on him. So I'm asking you straight, have you got it or not? Lord above, you've got some balls trying that on me. What, what Are you I accusing do? me of robbing corpses? That's not what I meant. Just that you... Actually, um... Now look here, lad. Are you implying I robbed the dead? I'll count to three, and if you're still here, I'll smash your teeth in. I'm assuming... To hell with you! Oh, shit. The fact that I just kept egging him on and I just never gave him a resolution that just pissed him off, I'm assuming? Because I don't understand why he's fighting me. I'm pushing the wrong button. 
Uh, there we go. Maybe uh, something out with the right buttons. Uh, 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 oh dear. Did that hurt? No. No. Why are you like running into him to do that to you, Henry? Yeah. It's just like redundant at this point. He's just like whooping my ass. Come on then. It's like I can't get a hit in at all, no matter what I do. This is so delayed. I'm unconscious again. That's fucking great. Lost something here. And now you're being nice to me. Fuck you. <clears throat> so now I can't talk to him about the fucking ring. So we're just gonna. Do this all over again because that's ridiculous and you need to be on the executioner's good side. For later, um, for later quests, you have to be on his good side, so. I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna fight him. I really don't understand why he came at you all aggressively and with an attitude at first. And I guess I just kept pushing it. I, I probably should have just let it go. But then I kept questioning him. I'm all the way back here, son of a bitch. Okay, everybody, we're back. Um, at the executioners. We'll try this one more time. And I think I'll just cut my losses and just pay the guy. Is this something you need? You can see that I'm a little hurt. That just happened when I was running with the horse really fast. Miller Peshak sent me. He's very sorry, but by mistake, he didn't give you the full weight of flour last time. He says you should come and get the balance. That rogue. How much is it? Half a sack. That's I nothing to sneeze up at. Again. <laughs> it certainly isn't. I'll go there right away. I don't have any lockpicks. So I fucked that up big time.
sure. Oh shit. This is a bit awkward, but recently you buried a convict and um, this convict um, was a friend of mine. He, uh, he had a ring on his finger that I gave him for luck. And I figured, since he doesn't need it anymore... And you think I rob corpses, so I must have it? Don't lose your temper. I meant no offence. I can pay you for it. Hey, lad. Don't you want a new wager on the rat egg morning? Is this enough? That's a poor offer. Yeah, I know. Well, you came down quite a bit, pal. I'll take it. I'll just take it. I don't care. It's yours. I just want to get this over with. Oh my god, this was... Like, for the record, if I'd done it right the first oh, time, it would have only been 20 groschen. an ordinary copper band. It's not worth a tin penny. Yeah, it's not worth anything. You overpay for it no matter what. I just want to get this over with because, oh my god, this is just frustrating the... Mm, out of me. I love how I do this right in front of Peshik too. <laughs> and his... And his niece. Are you two gonna, like, hash it out? Okay, come on, Peshik. Right. Oh, my God. Don't. What do you want? Rude motherfucker. Everybody's so rude. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now, run Pay with the it. ring to Wojtek, the Miller and Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you. And I'll have something for you soon, too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky okay. goods from you. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. That's why I actually just wanted to get this task over with, because now I can sell him some stuff, including stolen stuff. So, like, I just, just wanted to get to this point. So that's why I just bought the stupid ring. Because he's also the guy you buy lockpicks from. And I ran out of lockpicks, and otherwise the only other option would have been to steal the guy from the guy using lockpicks. So it was like a pain in the ass. I would have gotten lockpicks somewhere else, but... You'll buy stolen goods from me. Oh, thanks for your trust. I'm sure that'll come in useful. I don't think I have anything stolen on me just yet. But now I can learn to pickpocket, pick too, so that's important. Okay, so, um... My health, here, you can see right here, my health is at a 13, and I'm just in bad shape, and I've been through hell already. Yeah. So, I'm going to, in a few minutes, end this episode here. I'm gonna do something first. I wasn't planning on doing it yet, but I'm going to reward myself, because this was a train wreck. Okay, come on. I mean, not just what you guys are seeing, but I had to replay... At least twice that I can remember, I had to replay sections. I mean, this is taking me all day. It wasn't meant to take all day. Are you who? who or, or is it you? No. It's you. Hello. Oh. This is fun, everybody. God be with you. What can I do for you? I'd like to uh, order something here. And what is it you'd like? So I can either have a bath and have my clothes clean and heal my wounds. Or heal my wounds, bath, and laundry. Get a haircut, get a shave. I'm gonna I'm gonna pay for this one. Pay to pay for a wench and everything that goes with it. I'd like um a private bath for two. But of course. Money first though. I'm not giving you that much. And how much are you willing to pay? Satisfied? That's not enough. You won't regret spending the money. I guarantee it. The bathmaids will make a new man of you. 
Okay, well for 38 groschen, I am back in pretty good shape. Um, you can see my health is at 100, I'm doing good, I'm clean. My clothes are clean, so... I'm in the best shape that I've been in in a very long time. Alright, so you can see right here my, my buffs, alpha male. So, your needs have been satisfied and it shows. You're feeling self-confident. Charisma plus two. So I'm doing pretty good. We are going to end this episode here. That was a, a good way to end it for such a bizarre episode. So frustrating. Such a frustrating episode overall. Okay, so yeah. So like I said, I'm ending it here. Um, way too much time was wasted to not get that far at all. I wanted to get a lot more done. But that is, it is what it is for right now. We'll continue on in the next episode. We'll do more main quests. Like, we'll do the char charcoal burner. That might take one whole episode. So it may take... So it may not be until the episode after next episode that we do other things like what, what the Miller was just talking about and just other things in general. But we'll see. Who knows? Because this has just been one crazy playthrough. Okay, so have a great day. See you next time.